Here's two tips that will make you not want to throw away those overexposed photos and actually make them look even better. Let's get to it. All right, so for the first tip, we're going to go into Lightroom and we're going to take the brush tool, add some negative clarity to it and apply it to the overexposed areas of your photo. So what you want to do is just open up your photo in Lightroom and select the brush tool right here or you can press K to select it and put the clarity to around minus 50. And I use these settings for the brush tool, which is size to 15, feather to 100 and flow to around 65. And I'm just going to brush over the overexposed areas right here. You can click O if you want to see which area is affected by the brush tool right here in the red. You can see these areas are affected. So if I just brush over them, like any area that is overexposed, just brush over it. It doesn't matter if you go over these areas that are in between because you won't really see the difference right there. Just make sure that you're not brushing over the subject of your photo, which is this cyclist over here. So I'm not brushing over him, just brushing around him. And if we want to see the difference, what this has made, we just deselect the brush tool. And if we zoom in right here and deselect it, you can see that it has made my photo look smoother and it has made it dreamy like. All right, so for the second tip, we're going to go into Photoshop and make the effect called Orton effect. So I'm just going to right click on the photo right here and select edit in Adobe Photoshop. I've got the photo already opened in Photoshop. We're going to unlock the first layer right here and I'm just going to name it base layer and I'm going to right click and duplicate that layer right here and name it Orton effect and I'm going to convert it to smart object. Once it's converted to a smart object, you should go to filter, select blur and select Gaussian blur. Now you're going to put here the number of your megapixels that your camera has. So I'm using the Sony a7 III. It has 24 megapixels, so I'm just going to put 24 in here. Once you've applied the Gaussian blur, you're going to select this menu right here and set it to screen. And we're going to play with the opacity and the fill of this layer. So I always set it to something uh, really low because I don't want too much of it, but I just want a little bit of this effect. So let's say fill to around 30 and opacity to around 40. Now you want to rasterize this layer and add a layer mask to this. So you just want to press this button right here, which is add layer mask. And you're going to select the brush tool again by clicking B and selecting the black color. So you're going to brush over the areas again, like you did in Lightroom. You're going to brush here. Now, if we deselect this layer, we can see the difference it has made to our photo. Once you're done brushing over the overexposed areas again with your brush tool, you can adjust the opacity and fill to increase the Orton effect if you like, if you think it's not enough. You can select whatever you want, fit your style. Once you're done with the Orton effect completely, just select File, Export, and you can select quickly ex export as PNG or whatever you like, or as JPEG. I'm going to show you how this photo looked before all of these effects and after applying the declarifying and the Orton effect. So right here we have the before photo and right here is the after. You can see if we zoom in right here, it is really a lot softer. It is much more pleasing to look at. It is not so harsh on the eyes because of the overexposed areas. So these are the two tips that I wanted to show you in Lightroom and Photoshop. Try them out yourself on your overexposed photos. See how it fits them and let me down. Let me down. Don't let me down. Let me know down in the comments below if it has worked for you. 
And if you like this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up down below and consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so already. It helps me a lot and you get to stay tuned to the videos that I'm going to upload weekly. So yeah, see you in the next one.